Hi guys and welcome to this week's vlog. It's the first vlog I've put out in three and a half weeks. I'm so excited. What a stunning place. Now the reason I've not put a vlog out for the last three and a half weeks is simply because it's the curse of gobbing off. It's karma, That's <laughs> as you're about to find out. Um, I released a vlog I think on Christmas Eve and it was freezing cold when I was in the lakes. And what I actually said was, I love it when it's really, really cold. I love it when it's wintry conditions. Not obviously because of the uh, um, the scenes that you could shoot, completely different snow-capped mountains, etc., etc. I simply said, it's because lazy people don't bother their ass getting out of bed and coming out. Well, that was it. Because of karma, I was struck down with a bad bout of flu. Um, I pretty much... I couldn't get out of the house for two weeks. It was a nightmare. And three and a half weeks on now. I'm over it, but I've still got a chesty cough, so you might hear me cough every now and again. But uh, there you go. So that's it. That's calmer for you. So I wanted somewhere nice to vlog. Somewhere relaxing. Um, so I contacted my old buddy Jason. Uh, Jason Jones. Hello, Jason. Hello. <laughs> that's his posh English voice. Uh, so I contacted Jason and said, Jason, what are you doing on Wednesday? I need to get out, I need to vlog. So he said, I'm free on Wednesday. So for the third attempt, I find myself shackled up with my good buddy Jason in North Wales. And this is all Jason's idea, by the way, to come here. So he's my guide for the day. And I'm looking forward to this. We had a plan. The thought process behind today's shoot was we'd walk to the top of the falls, have a look for some compositions and work our way down. That's a lot easier. But before we do that, we're just gonna drink some coffee. Now I left my coffee in a van. Jason said, it's okay, I've got latte. I've got latte <laughs> in my flask. Gets his latte out, he's got four sweeteners in it, four. Bloody hell, I could have jogged up here if I had that coffee when I was down there earlier. <laughs> Just reflecting on the place while we're drinking coffee and just having a quick mooch around. Um, I've got a couple of compositions in mind. I'm not going to work too hard today. Like I said, I'm just getting over a bit of a bit of a flu situation. So really, I just wanted to get out and about, get some fresh air in my lungs, and uh, do a bit of hiking up a mountain. Uh, it's about 25 minutes, 30 minutes. That's all it was. So it wasn't too bad. But uh, I, I, I do like it. There's some really interesting features here. Um, quite a bit of it's man-made. The sky, it's lunchtime now, by the way, so in the middle of the day. So uh, I thought we could be really thankful for this cloud that's covering the sky. Uh, if you look across here, if I just lower that, bring that light down a second. If you look at the sky there behind me there, um, I'm not a fan of that kind of sky and the reason I'm not a fan of that kind of sky is because to me it just looks very bitty but uh, if that's what I've got to work with that's what I've got to work with and to be honest I'd rather work with that than just bright sunlight but uh, no I'm probably thankful for that. that that slight snowfall we've had over the past couple of days as well so all in all uh, camera out tripod out let's crack on in Get some shots in the bag. Let me just talk you through my thought process. Um, and the reason why I want to do that now is because we've come to the top of the falls and it's not the top of the falls that really has attracted me to being here. It's the falls themselves and they're further down. But while we're here, I'm not going to try and force a shot, but I'm probably going to look for a composition and look for a shot I wouldn't ordinarily have taken. And the reason why I do that is because sometimes you can surprise yourself. So, all I'm looking at now is what's interesting in the foreground, what's interesting in the background. Well, without stating the obvious, look at these mountains. These mountains here are fantastic, going all the way across. They're all snow-capped, and they just look delicious. So, it's just the foreground interest I'm playing around with now. Now, 
across here there's a kind of it's a man-made fence but appropriate to where we are in North Wales they're all pieces of slate that's been made up to look like well actually it is a fence it's very industrial looking but I think it, it looks really nice so I could possibly use that as a leading line also you may have seen Jason walking in the background I'm concentrating at the moment looking at this bridge um, I'm using that in the foreground the problem I've got is where I'm currently stood when I'm looking up at the mountain range I'm looking between the two nice bits of the mountain and I'm not I can't isolate one or the other unless I move and trek into the water but uh, no pain no gain I wandered across into the water using the water as a leading line up to the bridge as foreground interest and trying to capture what I consider to be the nicest part of that mountain in the background and I'll show you this picture but I'm really struggling with it and the reason why I'm struggling with it is because I don't like the fact that the foreground interest is on the same side as the background interest in other words the peak of the mountain is pretty much level and I'm struggling to move further right and further left to change the composition because every time I do that I'm losing the best part of the mountain in the background so uh, but that's my thought process I'll show you that picture now and you can have a look and see what you think about it I'm not keen on it but uh, it's just how we work moving away from the bridge but still on the top of the waterfall so bear in mind we haven't got to where I actually want to shoot yet I've seen quite a nice composition it's um, a portrait orientation landscape shot that I'm not really keen on but uh, I thought this would make for an interesting shot basically leading line typical S bend going out off into the mountains in the background and there's an old brick disused building derelict building in the background with uh, a big fir tree there off into the mountainscape in the background very interesting I'll put the settings on every picture I take on the bottom of the screen so I don't have to keep repeating the process um, but basically uh, straightforward either between f11 or f16 ISO 100 and I'll just vary that shutter speed according to the light uh, pointed this way there is just no sky that's the only problem um, 24 mil lens and I've got my 0.9 soft grad filter on there just to try and bring some of that detail down in the sky I'm not going to mess around with the water uh, if I'm going to play around with the 10 stop filter I'll do that further down the falls because at the moment as much as there's movement in the water um, nothing would excite me I don't think in this image by adding a 6 or a 10 stop filter Whoa, that was a trek Remember I said to you earlier on, all you need to do is look for foreground interest and then what works good in the background or look at the background interest and then try and find something in the foreground. Well, <coughs> I'm still at the top of the fall and I'm just wandering up and down. I've come across these small falls just here. I, I think they're really nice. There's enough movement in the water there for me to play around with my shutter speed. It's getting a bit cold now. Play around with my shutter speed, but looking at that as my foreground interest then I need to look around and see what was interesting in the background and of course I was stood over there and decided that the best background is probably that gigantic mountain there in the background apologies I don't know the name of it but uh, that is a stunning stunning looking backdrop so hence the reason I've had to hike and hike and hike ended up in the water just to get across to the other side to grab the shot but that's the sacrifices we make so this better be worth it so at this location I grabbed two shots one a single shot in portrait orientation um, and I think I think that'll work quite nice actually and then um, I can't quite grab the landscape orientation I want because with my 24 mil lens the difference between obviously the ground and way up the top of that mountain there is too great so all I've done now is simply taken a four um, a four picture in portrait mode panoramic sweep and from that I'll create my landscape picture but uh, I do like this I think I think this will be um, 
Don't know if it's worthy of a print, but certainly the best shot I've taken so far. I find sometimes I get really annoyed about. Um, we're just walking further down the falls now, and I've just discovered this waterfall here, which is just delightful. That's foreground too, there. And obviously, where I'm stood now, I can see in the background we've got the mountain up there. Okay, the light isn't the best, and uh, there's no cloud detail to talk of. But very often, you see a shot like that, set your camera up, and it just doesn't look quite the same. Well, the time you compose the foreground interest and then you look up and even even though you put um, a 0.9 and a 0.6 grad uh, soft grad on there to bring the light down in the sky to bring the detail down overall the picture just doesn't look like it does while I'm physically stood here looking at it so what I'm going to do now I'm going to try something a little bit different whereby we take portrait shots four or five of them to create a landscape what I'm going to do now is take landscape shots and sweep up to create a portrait image combined of about four or five landscape shots so it's the opposite way around but uh, yeah that might work further down and this is pretty much where we want to be shooting from it's not my A1 position just yet but just take a look at that Grab the shot. This is my uncertain face. Um, it just looks very busy, very, very busy for me, but uh, it might be quite interesting. But to be fair, look how awesome this water is. Crystal clear Welsh mountain water. It's just awesome. How cool is that? Now, I really like this. The only problem is, it's very difficult to put this it's so tight where we are with the tree all around it we can't see the sky um, the water down there looks absolutely fantastic but it's very difficult to put this into a landscape shot so what i tend to do with shots like this is i would just grab um, a nice shot of the waterfall itself because it might make a nice print or actually go in quite tight and just fill the frame full of that cascading water and you'd be surprised how much of a market there is for a shot like that if you're in the industry for selling pictures but uh, it's certainly well worth a try so if you end up in a situation like this then just try it try it you might be surprised that location 
checked off today and I must admit I thoroughly enjoyed that Watkins Path and Watkins Falls I think it is apologies to anybody that lives local if I've mispronounced it but uh, yeah what a fantastic fantastic vlog um, so all it leaves me to say is thanks for watching more importantly of course is thanks for Jason for um, showing me around today and basically being a, a good chatting partner and uh, yeah if you uh, want to if you want to check out one of Jason's vlogs then please do because he's a very accomplished photographer he puts videos out every week and what I like about Jason more than anything is he never gives up never gives up he always makes the most of a bad situation so go and check Jason's channel out please send him some love and uh, I'll leave the link to his channel in the description below